Automation Testing When will you automate a test? Automation is preferred in following cases. Repetitive task, smoke and sanity tests, test with multiple data set, regression test cases. Usually the decision is based on on the ROI, return on investment. When you will not automate testing? One should not automate in the following cases. When the application under test changes frequently. Second, one-time test cases. Third, ad hoc, randoming testing, random testing. What are the steps involved in the automation process? Answer. In the automation process, steps involved are selecting the test tool second defining scope of automation planning designing and development test execution maintenance what are the points that are covered while planning phase of automation during planning phase of automation things has <coughs> repeat during planning phase of automation things which has to be taken in concern are selection the right automation tool selection of an automation framework if any list of in scope and out of scope item for automation test environment setup preparing grand chart of project timelines for the test script development and execution identify test deliverables identify test deliverables <clears throat> in what condition we cannot use automation testing for agile method answer automation testing is not useful for agile methods in following conditions when agile testing always asks for changes in requirements when executive level of documentation is required in agile only suitable for those regressions test during agile testing like continuous integration what are the types of framework used in software automation testing in software automation testing four types of frameworks are one data driven automation framework second keyword driven automation framework third modular automation framework and the fourth one is hybrid automation framework what are the primary features of good automation tool answers are first the test environment support and easy to use second good debugging facility third robust object identification fourth object and image testing abilities Fifth, object identification. Sixth, sixth, testing of database. And seventh, support multiple frameworks. What are the scripting standard while performing automation testing? While writing the scripts for automation, you have to consider following things: uniform naming convention, three lines of components. For every ten lines of code, adequate and adequate indent indentation, hmm. adequate indentation, adequate indentation, robust error handling and recovery scenario, use of frameworks whenever possible. What are the most popular tools for automation testing? The most popular test tools for automation testing are QTP. That is HPUFT. The second one is Rational Robot, and third one is Selenium. On what basis you can map the success? On what basis you can map the success of automation testing? Answer: On on basis of following criteria, the success of automation testing can be mapped. One defect detection ratio. Second. automation execution time and time saving to release the product third reduction in labor and other cost
सपोज ए ऑफ जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन ए ऑफ वन इज इक्वल टू एन ए ऑफ टू इज इक्वल टू डी लाइक दैट इट गोज आउटपुट वी नीड इंडिया ए ऑप्शन एक्सप्लिसिट डी आई एम डिम एस टी आर स्ट्रिंग कॉमा आई कॉमा ए डबल आर हाई फन एल ई एन डिम आ ए डबल आर ऑफ टेन ए डबल आर ऑफ जीरो इज इक्वल टू कॉलन वन ए डबल आर वन इज इक्वल टू एन ए डबल आर टू इज इक्वल टू डी ए डबल आर थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन ए डबल आर फोर इज इक्वल टू ए ए डबल आर अंडर स्कोर एल ई एन इज इक्वल टू यू बाउंड ए आर आर फॉर आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू ए डबल आर इज इक्वल टू एल ई एन लैन एस टी आर इज इक्वल टू एस टी आर एंड ए डबल आर इज ऑफ आई नेक्स्ट मैसेज बॉक्स स्ट्रिंग वॉट इज ई टी एल टेस्टिंग अ टेस्टर जनरली डज द फॉलोइंग टास्क इन ई टी एल एनवायरमेंट वन रिवाइव द रिक्वायरमेंट रिव्यू द रिक्वायरमेंट टू रिव्यू द सोर्स डेटा डेटा प्रोफाइलिंग थर्ड मॉडिफाई द सोर्स डेटा to meet any requirement that were not already met with the original source data execute to execute the etl jobs transformations fifth the validate the results sixth validate that the data is usable if the data is not usable then you really have not gain anything what is the difference between quality and testing answer quality means only and only meeting specific nothing else what a user want if he is getting everything then he will say good quality then he'll say good quality quality leads to a brand not the vice not the vice versa not the vice versa testing doesn't mean quality improvement testing means exercising your brain a little bit to examine a product in turn the result is improvement of quality so quality is not the aim of testing but output leads to improvement do you know images are dynamically changes how to compare two images answer for this you can use i s e q a l b i n method that is i squalibin method i am showing below quote for comparing two images set compare util is equal to create object in colon mercury dot file compare colon close is equal flag is equal to compare util dot l s equal bin colon 1 colon img1 comma img2 comma 0 comma 1 in above code 0 means in file compare class showing no error syntax fc underscore no underscore error is equal to 0 1 means in the file compare class showing difference of size fc underscore di double f difference underscore size siz is equal to 1 What criteria do you consider for automation for automating a test answer i would consider the following points to help me decide if a test should be automated how often does the test need to be executed that is is that going to be a regression test sometimes the test will need to be executed once but with a large set of data how much time does automating this test will save me so that i can use my time in exploratory testing how much important is the test to the business that is is the test scenario a typical user journey through the application how complex is to automate the test and no likely is it that the complexity doesn't cause many false positive which increases result analysis time 
How likely is it that this test catches a defect? How likely is that a feature of functionality will break and what is the impact of it to the business? If it is high impact, then it should be automated to ensure it passes from, it passes from release to release. What is building verification testing that is BVT? Build verification testing is a group of tests that execute on every newly built of product for verification in which the build is testable prior to the release of build into the hand of the test team. The mainstream functionality of the application software is tested using BVT. The BVT lets the developer know how if uh, any serious problem exists with the build. They save the test team time and frustration by avoiding the test of an unstable build. Question 17. What kind of test should not be automated? This interview question is similar to previous question but focuses on which test not to be automated and left for manual testing. Possible answers can be usability testing. At, at times, this can be impossible task to perform by automation as the computer cannot efficiently judge if the system is of any use to its users. Second, test that only need to be executed once unless the same test need to be executed for a large data set then it makes a sense to automate test without predictable results test without predictable results test automation should give us confidence in the result of the tests if there are intermittent if there are if there are intermittent failures then the test cannot be reliable and cannot be dependent on and cannot be dependent on tests that need to be verified usually tests that need to be executed quickly what are the pros of automating test at ui layer user interface layer the ui automated test execute in a way that simulates user interacting with the system so it is very good for validating users journey and flows can cover end to end flows that communicate with third party systems because tests are run against the system they can be demoed to the customer who can understand what tests are run can catch high severity of showstopper bugs can check ui functionality where it is not possible to test otherwise what are cons of automating test at user interface layer that is ui layer cons a ui automated test can be very brittle that is fail due to ui changes even though functionality has not changed slow feedback to be slow feedback to the team execution is slow as you have to wait for the system to launch the connection with third party system can take a long time second limitation on what can be checked from the ui there are some information that are not present from the ui third because tests are slow from ui we can't have a lot of tests running against the ui next can be time consuming to construct automated test scripts for the ui question 20 are you familiar with the selenium if yes what is that answer a selenium is a suite of software testing and automation tools built for web applications using selenium using selenium software test can be written in languages like java perl python and more the framework itself can be deployed on the three major operating systems that is windows mac and linux is automation testing a complete replacement for manual software testing no proper automation requires as little intervention from humans as possible since the tools used are built to run tests 
once they are set up as convenient as this might be it should not be a complete replacement for manual testing only for repetitive tasks like load testing where thousands of virtual users are required engineers should not automate things like tests like test scripts if those scripts can only be expected to run occasionally nor should they automate code reviews or bug testing for new builds of software that might require human interaction to detect specific issues large scale repetitive tasks are better fit for automation question 22 what is a selenium id and what is it used for and what is the use and what it is used for the selenium id is an add on it's an add on for firefox that includes numerous features for quality assurance and engineers to record and play back browser based actions such as typing typing and mouse clicks some of these particular features are debugging functions record slash playback ability user add on capability users users can step up and slow down executions when the use of built in slider they can also use the selenium id as sidebar or as a separate pop up window does the selenium id have any drawbacks answer the selenium id lacks conditional statements logging and reporting functionality loops database testing and it cannot <coughs> functionality loops database testing and it cannot handle exceptions of automatically rerun test that have failed it also can't take it also can't take it also can't take screenshots another downside is that it is its firefox only another downside is that it it is firefox only if the selenium id is used in the firefox browser sidebars then the quality engineers can